To those watching, please bear in mind this is only my opinion and you are welcome to make other suggestions in the comments. This is not in order of most important to less important either. Part of the reason this game remains at the forefront of a lot of gamers' minds is the ability to rent your own server to host the game and any events that you might want to put on. You only have to browse through the internet section of the server browser to see the vast number of servers that are out there. This provides a large variation of games and game types for players to immerse themselves in and helps increase the game's longevity. It is for this reason that the developers of Bannerlord choosing not yet to release server code for rentals seems odd and possibly short-sighted. As with most games, a healthy modding community can add to the life cycle of a game. With the modding tools being made available for Warband, it's now down to the imagination and the hard work of modders that these game types and eras can be realised. After all, mods have led games to being produced off the back of their existence, Counter-Strike being one example. As has been indicated by my casts, the players regularly arrange their own events from mass battles to small reenactments. The variation is immense and multiple groups are invited to partake in these events. This helps solidify the sense of community among the players, but can also have the downside of brewing rivalries that may last for some time. While they don't appear that often, game updates do still occur to the game. This can be the addition of more tools, bug fixes and other supporting changes. Even though the changes do not occur that often, it still shows a willingness of the dev teams to update a product that has been on the market for some number of years. The lifeblood of any game is its community, and Warband has a varied and passionate bunch of gamers that consider this game to be one of their staple experiences on a regular basis. You just have to look at the forums for FSE that have so many posts for the various game types, DLCs and mods. Off the back of the community is the regiments and clan that still play this game. They host their own servers, put on their own events and continue to push for more fun and enjoyment and try and mix it up with different styles of events from historical to silly ones. In addition to that is the creation of custom maps for just such events to help improve the immersiveness for the experience of players. For those who play this game on a regular basis know very well the melee in this game is not easy to do and even more difficult to master. The sheer level of detail that you must go into in order to master the basics and then go on to improve your technique until you can go toe to toe with some of the best in the game. That is a journey that many players have embarked upon and it is a challenging one. It requires many hours of dedication as the profiles of some of these players show. So there you have it. I'm sure I've missed off some and you're more than welcome to make your own thoughts known in the comments below. I think it's for all of us to appreciate what this game has given so many players over the years. It's only fair to say, gamers got their money's worth.